I've played Adopt Me every day for four years to get the richest and craziest Adopt Me inventory. I'm going to reveal to you all of my mega neons, neons and rarest pets possible, and even hatch some old exclusive items. Let's start off with the neon common pets and slowly make our way up to the legendaries and then go into the mega neon. Starting off with a Tasmanian Tiger, a couple of Stingrays, and a bunch of Robins. Why I have so many of each of these Neons is a very good question. I guess it's good for trading or going and giving away. I mean, yeah, I don't realistically need tons of the exact same pet in Neon, but I could literally go and make all of these into a Mega Neon right now if I wanted to. Actually, Luminous, 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 I, I can make a Mega Neon Dog this exact second out of these four Neon Dogs if I wanted to. But it's definitely best to go and save them for when you have the Make a Mega Neon task. If you thought those dogs were a lot, well, let me introduce you into my Neon collection of cats, which somehow I have even more, and I'm pretty sure, again, I would have enough to make Mega Neons into uh, the Beluga Whales. So I can make a Mega Neon Beluga Whale. This pet came out at Christmas. Pretty cool looking pet. I do like this one. And yeah, a bunch of random pets. Some of these pets are old. Some of them are new. Some of them are like pretty cool pets that I want to eventually make mega, such as this pet rock. I love the pet rock. It's so funny. And then we got the Pumas. What egg did the Puma come out of? I kind of forgot what egg this came from and then some poodles a neon pink cat now this is one of the first pets to ever get added into adopt me i'm pretty sure actually is the first pet alongside the blue dog so this is a great pet a lot of history behind it there's literally just so many random pets in neon form that i think most of you guys probably don't really mind too much about what a neon is they're not really too crazy valuable like these common neons there's nothing insane about these i mean yeah they're cool pets but they're not megas and they're not legendary so most of you guys probably don't really care about these ones which is why we're just gonna kind of fly through them oh we got some monkeys maybe i can make a mega neon monkey that would be a pretty cool one a Mega Neon Ghost? I already have a Mega Neon Ghost Dog, so uh, maybe a Ghost Wolf would be cool. And then the Evil Rock. We got some Elephants. Actually, those are kind of hyped up pets. I know they have a lot of value still, so that's cool. So, same as the Brown Bat. I know it's only a rare, but yeah, it's definitely rare, especially old pets that are Neon that are no potion. For example, this Zombie Buffalo. It's an old pet, it's no potion, definitely a valuable one of those pets. Alright, this one. A Luminous Peppermint Penguin. You'll see why I have this later on in the video, because I have a, a Mega Neon one, so that's why. We have three Neon Nightmare Owls. Only three. Did I trade one? Why do you... Do I have a mega one of these? I, I don't know. I, I guess maybe I don't. That's kind of sad. And yeah, we got a bunch of pets, a Dalmatian. This came out the exact same time that a Frost Dragon came out. So this is kind of like one quarter of the value of a Frost Dragon, but a Neon one is kind of similar value as one regular Frost Dragon, which is definitely interesting to see. All right, so now we're moving into legendaries. Starting off with the lowest tier legendary that anyone can get, is the Zodiac Minion Chick, since this pet was literally given away to every single player for free. Which is why I'm pretty sure nobody likes this pet, so it was literally given to everyone for free. Okay, the Vampire Dragon. This is a legendary, it's neon, it costs you a thousand Robux each, everyone loves the dragons. Unicorns. Maybe I should eventually make a Mega Neon Unicorn. This is one of the most classic Adopt Me pets. You still see this thing everywhere. Still has a quite a bit of value. But let's continue into seeing what we've got. We've got some T-Rexes. Uh, different versions. A skeleton version and the normal version. Obviously the normal one came first. And then the Skelly version came out at a Halloween update. Alright, look at him. He glows green. Do they all glow that color? Okay, I was gonna say, I must have temporarily died it. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure he's not meant to be green. A shark puppy. I completely forgot where that came from. The Scarecrow Crow came out recently. Now, you guys might call me crazy, but I have eight Luminous Mecha Meows, which is enough to make two more Megas. 
That's right, I can make two Mega Mech Meows this exact second, if I want to, and then no potion. So I'm saving that for a video where we make some crazy pets. I think you'll like that. A Neon Fly Ride Parrot, again, this is such an old pet, it's valuable, it looks amazing, it's, it's just so cool. Right, the Griffin, these were some pets that I planned to make Mega Neon. I tried to go and age these up, and definitely something I will. Okay, this one, this is a gold horn. Now it says it's from Beethink, and I kid you not, Beethink, the owner and creator of Adopt Me, actually gifted me this pet. If you want proof, you can simply go and check out the video where um, Beethink trades me, and that's how I got that gold horn. So I'll forever not trade that pet. Um, a Fleur de Ice, again, four luminous versions. All I need to do is go and put these into the neon machine. And uh, I'll have a Mega Neon Fleur de Ice, cool pet. A Frost Fury, I do have a Mega one of these, so I don't really need that. Um, so maybe I'll try and trade that away. Um, a Dragon, we've got Luminous, Luminous, um, Luminous. That means this, this is one away from making a Mega Neon Dragon, which is kind of cool. All right, we got some Neon Dodos. Again, I, I've got a Mega one, so I think I normally just get these through trading. These things have a lot of value, normally a bit of demand. But speaking of demand, we're now getting into the top tier legendaries, such as this Crow. Classic pet. I love this pet, but not as much as I love the classic Adopt Me Bat Dragon. I don't think many things can beat their traditional Adopt Me Bad Dragon. I know they've made so many new versions, like the chocolate version, but this is the classic. This is the original. We also got the candy hair, which came out recently, covered in a bunch of candy, and this monkey. But yeah, this Bat Dragon, definitely one of my most favorite pets to exist. It was my dream pet for such a long time, since I literally love the color red. And this guy is called You Star Code Candy, which you guys should definitely go and do when purchasing Robux or Roblox Premium. So now we've gone and checked out the uh, the neons. What we want to go and check out is Mega Neons, and that's right. I have a bunch of Mega Neon pets. Um, my goal was to collect one of every single Mega Neon pet inside of Adopt Me, which eventually might actually be possible. The only issue is, I like to give stuff away. Okay, so I do videos where I literally give away free Mega Neons. Which is probably why I don't have as many, since I literally give away tons of Dream Pets to players completely for free. Which is mainly the issue is why I don't have crazy pets. I mean, sure, all of these things are very valuable, but I would definitely have a bunch more valuable things. Anyway, a Mega Neon Flying Fish. I don't know why I have two of these. I think I must have got this from a trading video recently. Three Mega Dogs. This one's called Exotic Butters. I don't know why. This is the first ever Mega Neon pet that I did make, a Mega Neon Robin. Classic pet. I um I aged all of these up myself. It's a common, it looks great. The Mega Neon Ghost. Again, this dude is so fun looking. It just glows through all of the colors. Basically, that's what every Mega Neon does. So a Mega Neon Beluga Whale. I already have one, which is why I haven't gone and done the other ones yet. All right, what, what out of this is cool? A birthday one, and then 2021 Uplift Butterfly, and then the 2023 Uplift Butterfly. So there's not too much difference between them. They're both butterflies. This one's pink. This one is, um, like, they got different shapes, right? Um, I guess. So it depends which shape you prefer. Obviously, the 2021 version is a significantly amount rarer. I have a Mega Chickatrice. Since when did I have that? Honestly? I had no clue that I owned this pet in Mega Neon. That's, that is news to me. <laughs> All right, this, this was given to my, to me by my friend on my birthday. So um, thank you very much to them. We got two Mega Neon Luna Tigers. My YouTube logo is a tiger. So that's a very cool pet. I do like this one. A Mega Polar Bear. Since when did I have a Mega Polar Bear? Bro, that's such a valuable pet. I had no idea that I had a Mega Polar Bear. Honestly, there's so many pets um, that I have and I just trade all the time that I kind of forget what pets I have and I had no clue that I owned that pet. That is so strange. I had no idea I owned that. Anyway, a Mega Cow, a Mega Beaver, a Mega Slime. A Mega Slime is such an underrated pet. Like, look at this dude. I know it's no potion. You guys will probably scream at me 
if I add a potion to this thing. But look how cool it is. It's just such a cool, like, fun, playful pet that's kind of just like a blob that moves around. And honestly, it's great. The Peppermint Penguin. Okay, so this came out recently. It's a Robux pet. I think each of them is like 500-ish Robux. Um, so having a Mega Neon of it is very cool. That was a Christmas gift from Adopt Me. A Mega Neon Turtle. That's right. Look at this, dude. Mega Neon Turtle. A very valued pet. People uh, sometimes don't know the true value of a turtle. And it's just a really hyped up pet. All right, the Mega Neon Shor Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon. This is a, uh, a long one to say, but look how cool this is. This is one of the best pets that I own inside of Adult Me. It's just such a great design, right? It's got strawberries, it's a bat dragon, its tail is a literal strawberry. What's there not to love about this design and pet? It's honestly great. Also, it, it gets rid of my filters each time. I think there's a way to save it. Uh, we, we gotta scroll down each time we go into it. Anyway, back to the legendaries. A Mega Snow Owl. I, I believe I made this myself. I have so many snow owls. Like, if I simply go and search snow and uh, remove the, the Mega Neon filters, and then we'll see how many we have. So yeah, that, that there's definitely a lot of these pets. Obviously, I'm only showing you the Neons and the Mega Neons and like the cool fun stuff, such as the toys and things. But um, if you do come to look at my regular inventory, you'll see I do have like a bunch of like each of these pets just all stacked up, which I obviously haven't gone and made into neon or fully aged up yet. So this is kind of like what my inventory actually looks like, the non-neons and the non-megas. Um, so I do have like a bunch of the ones that I, I haven't had the time to go and age up yet which is why uh, I don't have a mega of all of these things. And there's just, there's lots of duplicates, right? Um, obviously I don't have time to make them all into megas, um, but I do have a bunch stacked up for when I eventually go and make them into neon. All of those people questioning saying, oh, he doesn't have many. Well, I'm only showing you the neons. And obviously I do have some like cool pets that aren't neon, such as a neon, I don't have a neon owl yet, which is a pretty cool pet. Um, I do want to try get a Neon Phoenix. That is definitely a pet that I do like that I don't own. And what other pets do we have that have... Yeah, so I've got a Shadow Dragon, for example. It's not Neon, uh, it's not Mega, but a Shadow Dragon, still one of the most valuable pets. It is the most valuable pet ever inside of Adopt Me. So that is why I, I turned it into a, a White Shadow Dragon. I turned it into a Frost Dragon, because I don't have a Frost Dragon. The reason why I don't have a Frost Dragon is because I gave my Frost Dragon away for free. And ever since, I've not been able to find one. So, someone help me in the chat, um, if in the comments, if you know where I can locate a Frost Dragon, let me know. Because uh, I gave all of mine away for free, which is very kind of me, right? But now I have none. So, the moral of the story is, keep one spare. Because you never know when you'll have none left, because you gave them away in a giveaway. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so we got a bunch of these pets. I do have enough to probably, yeah, I got enough to make a Mega Neon Gingerbread Reindeer now, which is great. I love this pet. One of the coolest pets to exist. And all of these stacked up pets. I have a Mega Highland Cow. Did I, did I show you that one earlier? I'm not sure. So yeah, let me know out of all of these, what is like a good non-neon pet? Because honestly, yeah, something like a lion. These are old. These are valuable. It's not neon, but it's still a really difficult pet to get your hands on. The same as like the magma snails and things. Because the, the odds of getting one are very slim. Which is why it's valuable. Alright, look at all my pets and all my Persian cats. Um, 40. 40 stacked up Persian cats. I don't need that many. This is why I like do so many giveaways. Because I've just got like so many pets that I could just help the community, give them away for free, make people happy by going and doing so. So here we go, let's just keep scrolling. I honestly don't even remember half the stuff that I have. A Saint Bernard, still a pet that I want to make Mega Neon. This was a Christmas pet, day 25. Never got round to the time of going into aging these things up to make them into Mega Neon. I wonder what pet I own the most of. There must be like one specific pet that I have tons of. 
but w I wonder which one. Is there a way to sort by quantity, potentially? I'm not sure. I got 16 Wyvans. I wonder what is the pet that I have the most of. I got a lot of Kelpies. I bet it's going to be like a cat or a dog. It's probably a dog, right? I, I bet it's a dog, okay? Because I recently did a video where I traded 100 cats. So I doubt that it's going to be a cat because I kind of got rid of my whole cat army. Like, I got rid of all of them. So yeah, I've been playing Adopt Me every day for over four years now, which is kind of crazy to say. Oh, we got 41 Ghost Wolves. That's a significant number. Oh, 74 Gorillas. I did do a video where I opened 100 Gorilla Boxes. So I guess that makes sense as to why I have so many Gorillas. As for all of these other things, yeah, I opened like 100 of each egg. Every time a new egg comes out, I pretty much open a hundred of them, which is why I have like lots of stacks of all these random pets. To be honest, guys, for all of you wondering, how do I get that many? It's because I literally just spend all my Robux. <laughs> I spend all my Robux like buying all these eggs and attaching them. So that's that's why I've got like 18, 5, 3, you, you name it. There's, there's a 75 oxes. Wow. Wow, wow. Look at all these oxes. I don't, these ones don't stack because they've got nicknamed, which is why it's not in like the stack of 75 because they all have like RP names such as Make It Mega, which I'm, I I probably got that traded. I didn't hatch that. Um, we got some eggs. We got some more polar bears. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is a valuable pet. I didn't know I had a mega of it. So that's, that's news to me. <laughs> I guess that's good. Good news to me. I don't normally get surprised by what's in my inventory. So that's kind of cool. We've got rhinos. Oh yeah. We like a good old rhino. Um, we've got two full grown ones. Obviously it'd be a bit silly to make a, a neon of an old valuable pet. Uh, because you could just trade for it and get overpays. Oh, we're at the shrew section. I bet most of you guys don't know what the shrew is or how it looks. So these used to be called elf shrews and they used to have like a little elf hat on which is obviously now a pet wear item. But these were great pets, I loved these. I think they cost gingerbread at the time which was like a Christmas currency. And yeah, let's keep scrolling. A bunch of snow pumas, a lot of them. Some lions, some walruses, we got some swans. I thought I had a mega swan. Maybe I gave that away. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I give away so many things that I forgot what I used to have and what I have now. So yeah, the 2021 butterfly. Wow, I've got a lot of those. That's from 2021. This is proof. Proof that I've been playing each update is the fact that I have all of these. Um, yeah, these butterflies cost like 3,000 bucks each, so they're definitely expensive. The Arctic has. Bro, I opened so many of these and I got such terrible odds. <laughs> some bats. Ooh, I got a lot of bats to be fair. Oh, these, these are great as well. The Black Panthers. Very valuable pet. It's definitely desirable as well. Do I have four full-grown ones? Okay, no. I have three full-grown Black Panthers. That's interesting. Blue Dog. This is the second ever pet to exist in Adopt Me. The Pink Cat and the Blue Dog released pretty much at the exact same time. I think I prefer the cat. But yeah, it's a blue dog. You can basically replicate this with uh, the hair salon now, making it kind of a lot less valuable. But to collectors, it's still got camels. Why do I have like 50 camels? There's got to be at least 50 here, right? That is kind of ridiculous that I have that many. I guess when I hatched 100 of this egg, I was really unlucky and I hatched a bunch of the camels, which is unfortunate. Uh, capybaras, that's a... That's a pet that I, I actually don't know what egg that came from. I kind of completely forgot. Uh, chocolate Labradors. We got a bunch of them. They're a bit boring. Let's keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Um, yeah, we got the Christmas egg. You can't hatch these yet, though, from when I'm filming this video. We got a bunch of dingoes. Uh, you name it. And yeah, we're just going to keep scrolling through um, some drakes. I, uh, what is this called? A doll. Yeah. So I got the dolls. They don't, like, do much. It's a human <laughs> it's kind of a strange thing for adopt me to add i'm not sure if they'll add it again i think most people forgot that this thing exists definitely an interesting one that adopt me did anyway let's keep scrolling i got 60 of these cats let's find out what pet that we own the most of yeah here's the other doll this is pinocchio this is my more favorite desirable one 
um, because it's like characteristic. It looks like the Disney movie dude. Um, so that's why it's it's a bit more cooler than the Bob the Builder one. <laughs> um, so let's keep scrolling. Yeah, so um, it is difficult to find things, which is why... Oh, here's, here's another doll. This is the third doll. They only added three dolls. A nurse, which is called River, Pinocchio, and Dylan. Um, so yeah, let's keep scrolling. Oh, the nurse has gone to sleep. She slept in the snow cats. Yeah, bro. So there's so many pets existing in Adopt Me, and I nearly have all of them, right? So if I pull up my journal, we'll see. Oh, look, bandicoots. We got megas, neons, and regulars, and a bunch stacked. Maybe that's the most. I'm not too sure. Let me know what pet you guys have the most in the comment section. Here's the cats. Yeah, I got three mega cats. A bunch of neon cats even after I traded a hundred Wow I literally did a video where I traded 100 cats and I still have that many let's have a look at the dogs we got three mega dogs neon dogs regular dogs a bunch more dogs more dogs more dogs stacks of dogs a stack of ten dogs three dogs two dogs two yeah definitely a lot of dogs um, so that's interesting I guess we'll We'll do a video where I trade 100 dogs soon if you guys want to see that like this video and I'll go and do it and a bunch of otters as you can see it says this is the pet journal completed 444 out of 447 which does mean that there are three pets that I do not actually own that's right the three pets I don't own are a blazing lion because this is a one in 10,000 odds of going and getting it People just want crazy overpays. A diamond Amazon. This is a difficult pet to go and pull out of it because it's so expensive. An African wild dog. This is an old UGC pet. Uh, you had to purchase like three or five UGCs and then you could go and claim it. And um, I didn't do it at the time and now it's valuable and people don't want to trade them. So if you have any of these three pets, let me know what um, what you're trading for them in the comments because I'm pretty intrigued. So I guess I can show you like my vehicles journal if I show collected. There's a, I don't really collect vehicles, right? That's why I'm still missing quite a significant amount. I do have some of like the rare vehicles such as the ghost vehicle, which is probably one of my favorites or the, the other things. But what are the ones I don't have? I wonder. So there's definitely some new ones. These are old things, Robux things. Uh, yeah, there's there's so many vehicles in it that me the rocket slide was one of like the rarest vehicles and there's just so many that I don't have or don't have right now because I gave them away in the past. The horse and carriage, I definitely bought that and gave them away. But yeah, these are all the vehicles I don't have. What? I definitely have a dino truck. Really? It's, I don't? Apparently I don't. Pet what? Oh wow. Uh, 604 petware. Wow, we. Yeah, there's a lot of petware. To be fair, I'm surprised I have 300 different petwares. I'm kind of shocked that I have that many. Since I don't really collect petware, it's just a coincidence from um, opening things in videos that I have this many, I guess. Because all of these things update all the time. I mean, I did do the chest opening, which might make sense as to why. Anyway, collected on strollers. Oh! I thought there'd be more strollers than that, to be honest. So I don't have an aeroplane, a bunny, a... all of these ones. These ones I don't have. What is like the coolest stroller though, that I don't have that I want? A unicorn stroller, I've never heard of that one. So yeah, I have all of these ones. I think my favorite one's probably the cauldron, in case any of you guys are intrigued. Or this, this kangaroo, it's just a classic. What's not to love about that little kangaroo stroller? Uh, gifts. Do I, I must have all of these. 24 out of 27. A rat box, a premium monkey box, and a golden gift. So I'm, I don't have these three. Obviously I did have them at one point, but that was before the, the whole thing came in. Foods. There's 81 foods. Okay, what's gonna be the expensive foods? A water walking potion, one of the rarest potions in Adopt Me. That's fair enough. No one really has that. A levitation potion. Chocolate twist, didn't know that. A cookie, I definitely had those at one point. A dim sum, a heart potion, honey. Okay, I could literally buy that right now, right? Chocolate, drop chocolate egg, chocolate and a candy cane. 
and some ice cream. So these are all old items that you can't purchase anymore, which is why I don't have them, obviously. Here's my toy collection. Wow, that's a lot of toys. 491 toys to collect. Wow. So I'll show you my valuable toys in a second. What are these? What? You can get flags. Um, I wasn't aware of the flags. And then a bunch of... Okay, the rainbow rattle. If you have this item, please let me know. I don't have it. One of my friends has it. The rarest item in Adopt Me. If you have it, you're literally like the richest player ever. Because that thing is uh, the most valuable thing to exist inside of Adopt Me. That vehicle, trust me, it is. Um, that item is literally like the most valuable Thing. it's worth tons of mega neon shadows like if you have that item you could trade it for like 10 mega neon shadow dragons or something literally insane so these are my favorite section um let's did i show you did i not show you these maybe i didn't let's let's pull out the rest of the mega neon pets i guess maybe i didn't get to the end of the list um so we got some snow owls we got two mega mecha meows because why not? A mega ice golem. This one's cool. Underrated pet. Not many people talk about this pet. I got this in a trading video recently. And then we have a frost fury. This is a pet that I made myself. A flood ice, a dragon, an arctic reindeer. I, I made this one myself as well. Definitely proud that I aged these all up myself and made it. And obviously, uh, we got the chocolate chip bat dragons, and the good news is I, I am eventually giving away one of these completely for free, trust me. I'm working with a charity, I'm working directly with WWF to make a big video where we fundraise money and we're literally giving away a chocolate chip bat dragon in that video, so definitely subscribe. Uh, we got a snowflake potion, so this is again one of those va very rare valuable potions that you should never go and consume, okay? At no cost should you use this potion because it's just so valuable and rare. And then these are some of the rare vehicles. I think maybe like B Think gave me some of these. That's why I favorited them because they're cool. Um, what is this? We got a tombstone. If you don't know what a tombstone is, you guys are in for a treat because it just basically makes your head invisible, which probably won't do much when I've got like masks. And oh no, a tombstone makes your whole body invisible. Oh yeah, I, I forgot which way it works. So you use it and then you're invisible. So if you've ever seen like those videos where people like ride their pet and the person's invisible, this is kind of how they do it. That's, that's like a little hack. And then we've got a Chinese lantern, you click it, it leaves these particles and then it just like floats into the sky. And then I've just got a grapple in my favorites because you never know when you might need to um, go and like grapple onto things just like this you never know you never know and then we got the candy cannon i think mr b think uh gave me this one as well i have a b think on new fissy i can't remember this is one of the most valuable items in adopt me it's great it um throws consumable food which obviously you can walk up to and eat all your pets can eat it and it will age up your pets and give you bugs such as we can see it just said that I got 10 bucks for the chocolate chip bad dragon being full and yeah then we got like a christmas gift that i should never go and open but i did say that we're going to go and open some old rare valuable things so let's have a look what we can go and open right now what do we have a few of we got 10 ox boxes we got a lunar tiger box should we let's open up one Luna Tiger Box right now, okay? Let's open it. I know this is a very bad idea to do, but I hope that for the sake of this video, you guys will love it. So please like this video. Let's see. Can we get a legendary? We got the regular Luna Tiger. We just got a basic. I hatched it. We got a, a basic. All right, so now let's search egg. I know a bunch of you guys like eggs. You want to see my egg collection? Um, okay, so we've got fool's eggs. We've got danger eggs. We got uh, fossils, golds, Japanese, uh, ocean eggs, those are valuable, a royal egg, woodland eggs, you name it. I'm trying to get like a bunch of each egg because I do like all these egg hatching videos, which is why I have so many of each egg, uh, which is kind of crazy. So I got 57 urban eggs, but we don't want that. We want to we open up a, a bit of an older one. So let's go for a danger egg because 
these eggs are not in the game right now. Also, I'm glowing because I have like the crazy particle effect. So let's use instant hatch on my danger egg and find out if we get any good luck. Come on, Mr. Danger Egg. Give us a legendary. That would be very cool. And we got a common piranha. Yikes. Is that the worst pet you can possibly hatch out of that? That is not good news. Definitely not good news. And then as for the rest of my things, I just got like random stuff saved up, like potions, all of these things. Nothing too crazy valuable um, in here. 20 of these because I was silly and didn't use my ingredients. As for the rest, the stars eggs, these things are kind of cool. I do like this. This is a broken egg. Um, you can't do anything with it. It's called a pet food. It's literally just a giant cracked egg and you can hold it. Still a bit confused by what that does or where it came from. Probably like some old Easter thing. A teleportation potion. Classic item. Very rare, very valuable. Definitely don't go and use those if you have them. Ice creams. How do I have so many of them? Moon cakes. Wow, wow. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of things. <laughs> 1,200. 1,200 seaweeds? Wow. How do I have that many? And why do I have that many? That's, um, that's interesting. So yeah, obviously I've got a bunch of each toy. I, I've got tons of duplicates because I open like thousands of these gifts in videos, which is why I have so many of each thing. I got duplicates, we got doubles, we got 40 of each thing for the majority of like the common stuff, uh, which is why I just like give these things away as well. If you meet me in game, I'll, I'll just throw people toys to make them happy. But there are cool items such as the cookie stuff, which are valuable um, and cool. I do like the old classic valuable toys. And yeah, it's a cookie. What's there not to like? Um, and I got two trading licenses. So many people always question how I have two. Okay, I'm not even kidding. One, two. It's not fake. It's real. Look, I can click on them. One, two. I can unfavorite one. I can favorite the other. I can show you in my favorites. We have two legitimate trading licenses the, the way how was like a little glitch once you completed it you teleport to your friend who's still going and doing it and then you could go and claim it so you could literally have a hundred trading licenses if you wanted it does absolutely no benefit to you though so it's kind of like a pointless thing oh yeah wings there's not much to show in the wings category i don't have any like of the valuable ones the only one that i have is this the ultra rare the rest is just common. I didn't get any good luck with the wings, which is a shame. So right, that is my Adopt Me inventory tour. Hopefully you guys found something that you yeah, your thought was cool and interesting. So that's what you get if you play Adopt Me every single day for four years straight. And um, probably half a million Robux on this game. Buying things, giving them away, hatching things in videos, instant hatches, buying bugs, um, buying ride potions, you name it. Probably spent half a million Robux. Um, so that's why my inventory is definitely big compared to most people. But I will be going and giving away some free stuff. So if you do want some, definitely subscribe and turn on notifications and let me know what you thought of my inventory. Click here to watch the best, most expensive Adopt Me house builds that you'll ever see. I think you'll love this video next. Click here to watch.